everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dina and you're watching Dina's Homespun Fun. So for those of you who knew, who are new, thank you for stopping by. And if you like what you see, maybe you could subscribe. So this video today, I'm showing you my finished, hmm, no, almost finished cardigan that I did from my Big Purple Binder. binder is this huge binder full of patterns that I have collected over time and if you're anything like me you collect patterns like you see them you want to do them and then you don't do them and then mine were all over Ravelry Etsy on my computer printed out so I tried to go and print everything out and put it in a binder I happen to number them one to whatever in a random fashion and once a week or once every two weeks, I have Alexa pick a number and that's the pattern I do. I do this because it's a way to take me out of my comfort zone because a lot of times I'll look at a pattern, like it, I must have if I purchased it, but there's reasons why, whether it's because I think it's too complicated, I'm afraid of it, I don't have the right yarn. So this just forces me to make it and I kind of like doing it like that. So last week, so the week before, it was the Alchemy Cardigan by Jessica as a make and do crew. It's a really pretty cardigan. It has a lot of nice details. The cuffed sleeve with the button, it has two pockets, slides, slide, wait, let's try that again. Side slit pockets with the trim. And I really think it looks beautiful. And when I was making it, the last update I gave you guys, I was gonna run out of yarn. So I was gonna try and match something to it. So let me show you where I'm at, what my thoughts are. Maybe I'll ask for your opinion. Okay, let's see. Oh, such a mess in here. So the majority of the sweater I did in this Lion Brand Respun 100% recycled polyester. And uh, it's a size four. You get 394 yards per skein. Mm, this is machine wash, gentle cycle, um, tumble dry low, which is surprising. A lot of times polyester, I don't know, it's like plasticky. But anyway, um, so I'm trying to find my color. Oh, fuzz. Blush. The color I used was blush. So let's let me show you how far I got. This is worked, sorry, in three sections, back and two front panels, and then you seam it and then you do the sleeves. So this is so discombobulated. Okay. So here we go. We have the back. This was all scrunched up. And we have one sleeve done. Now, I was going to, this is it, uncuffed. I was going to do the sleeves and the trim in something else that would match. And what I, so this is a size four, like I just said. This yarn, which I absolutely love right now, it's called Dream Color. It's by Hobie, 100% wool. It's a size one. Yes, I said one. And you get, what do you get? 437 yards. And this is color 15. And so what I did was held two together and I started working the sleeve. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's, I think you guys will agree. It's stunning, beautiful. And when you hold two together, I really, I really like it. Like it, it's like the perfect weight. 
gorgeous colors and and it would even match but no as I'm looking at this as I was working this up and and I looked at this it's gonna be too busy for my taste I think for the majority of people's taste I think it would just be too busy having these as sleeves and then trim it just wasn't I wasn't feeling it so I really contemplated because I like using what yarn I have. I absolutely cannot stand having to order yarn to finish a project, but I put this aside thinking the only way this will look good, in my opinion, is to get one more skein and finish it all one color. Now, I'm not even sure if one skein will finish it all one color because I still have all the trim, the pockets, trim, um, and a whole other sleeve. So I'm gonna look and see how much it is. Maybe I'll order two, but I do have, I don't, do I have it in front of me? <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I have this gorgeous um, Red Heart Super Saver brushed, and this is dusty pink. So, I thought the trim might look really pretty in this. Like, I don't want to do two sleeves in the trim in this. I think that's just too much. But I am contemplating doing the trim in this. I don't know. So, give me your thoughts down below. Let me know um, if you would get another skein to finish this off. I don't think it's very expensive yarn. Um, let me see. Can I put this on? It's... Obviously, you can't see really, <laughs> but it still needs this, and I like three-quarter sleeves, so I made it a little shorter, and picture like the little hoop with the button. All right, so here, you could kind of get a feel for it. My pocket would be there. So I don't know. I think, you know, just kind of picture. I just think it's gonna look better, all one color. And it's not that expensive, this yarn. And I came this far, guys, I came this far. So I'm thinking I'm gonna bite the bullet and just look online and order it. And then my, like I said, my other option was to do the sleeves in this, which would be better than this, I think, um, less busy. But still thinking, if I was going to do anything, I would just do the trims in this. That's where I'm at with this. This sweater has turned into quite the project. I started it by doing swatches to pick to pick which yarn I was going to use. And uh, then I did, you know, a sleeve in it. Like, I've just really taken my time with this. But I do wanna pause this video for a second, take a minute, because I this video is actually sponsored by a company that reached out to me and when they sent me the merchandise, I really, really was shocked how much I think it could be useful. I don't sew, I'm not a sewer, but there's times I have to sew. Um, I could think of a few times right now when I was out with my kids, actually one of them was younger, much younger and we were going to a show performance and he had on like a costume that we made at home one of those homemade costumes nothing major and something ripped off of it and he was devastated nervous enough to go on stage and this would have been very handy in my car now i'm gonna have different reviews but they have different sizes it's a sewing kit this right here to me Everyone should get one and keep it in their glove compartment of their car, or if you carry around a big bag, in your bag, because you truly never know. It has absolutely everything you need to mend something. Um, so when you open it, it has this card that says, am I blurry? Notice, for best results, see important instructions at the URL below. So you could just scan this and gives you detailed instructions. But look at the selection of thread you get. You get everything you need. You get a measuring tape, a thimble, two threaders, scissors, a little section here of buttons and snaps, white and black buttons and snaps. 
straight pins, safety pins, and this I love. This is all the sections of the needles, and I love this. Whole, oh, and you even get a um, seam ripper right there. Um, let me just show you this. So if you want a size, you look here, and there's a nice size there with a nice big eye, and you take this and you turn it, and I'm trying to see if you're gonna be able to see this. Um, first, it's, I just gotta cut this, there's tape here. Let's cut that off. So there's, you turn this, and if you see right there, there's an opening. So you turn it to where you want. So let's see, where was that big one? Okay, and then you just shake, and then voila, it comes out. That's the big one I saw. And then when you're done with it, you put it back and you turn this all the way around. So none of your needles come out. I love this, I love this. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put the price up here. There is, I mean, just when you think about this, they're very reasonably priced. You get this, you keep this in your glove compartment, in your bag, at your in your desk, at the office. This is going to save you a lot of frustration and aggravation, especially if you have kids and especially if they perform in any way. Um, even in hockey, believe it or not, there's been times I could have used this. So, um, check out my link down below. If you're interested, you get a discount. There's all the information you need. I will also pin it in a comment so it's easy for you to access. And I would definitely recommend it. It's VeloStar and they have tons and tons of sewing kits. And the way they package them is my, I don't know, favorite part about it. Well, and all these colors. This is even good for crocheting and stuff when you have to sew things on. Um, but I always had a big bulky sewing kit, which I could never find because it was like on the top shelf of my linen closet and it was bulky and getting it down was a pain. So even if you got this or a medium sized one and you kept it in your junk drawer in your kitchen, it's just more, you know, easily accessible. So I want to thank Star for sponsoring this video and check them out. Back to my sweater. So this sweater was normally, if you guys know me, you know, I kind of like just do a pattern. I do, I make what I can with what I have and kind of like fudge it along. But I don't know why with this sweater, I just felt that it wasn't sitting right with me. I'm going to put her, I'm going to put it on my um, mannequin so you guys can look again because I want to get your opinions. Excuse all the ends. So let's see. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that. So. There you go. I'm gonna do this. Okay, picture the blah, 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 blah. Trim, trim, trim. So please, down below, if you don't mind taking the time, let me know. Say yes, go for it, get another skein or two of the um, respun, or get one of the respun and do fuzzy, or just make it all mix match, which I'm pretty much against anyway. Like. I'd be curious to know if anyone thinks that I should have continued with this, but my own personal taste says no to that. So, mm. so I don't think I'll do that. All right, so now, you know what? I'm, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to do something else in my big purple binder. And something else I wanna tell you guys is, I found a bunch more patterns that I didn't know. Like I, okay, tell me, do you guys do this? I'm not completely computer illiterate, but I'm not like, you know, Gen Z literate. You know what I'm saying? I'm Gen X. Um, and I have a Mac, um, Apple Mac, um, MacBook Pro, I think, computer, which is very old and falling apart, but it still works. And um, it, you know how you have the iCloud? iCloud is if you have the Mac. If you work on Microsoft, it's OneDrive. You could also have Google Drive. Hmm, there's just so many out there. And at some point I've used them all. So I have photos and documents in OneDrive. I have it in Google Drive. I have it on my computer. I have it on iCloud. I have it on my phone. Something's saved on my phone, on my iPad. It's, and it's very confusing and people can explain it to me 
you know, a million times and I just can't. Like, I'm thinking I'm saving everything on the cloud, but I don't think I am because it's not all there. And then even when you go there, it's broken down even further. So bless anyone who doesn't get overwhelmed with this. I keep thinking I want to get like an external hard drive and just save everything on that so it's in one place, but I, I would probably mess that up too. So I found a bunch more patterns because I was looking for um, old pictures of my son when he was graduating uh, last month, last month, yeah, um, to do like collages for him and stuff. And, um, you know, I found pictures on OneDrive and everything. So someday I'll have to just get everything in one place, maybe. But I found patterns, really cool patterns that I bought a long, long time ago or not so long ago. So I, I don't know what I'm doing. So I still have to print more patterns. So this will be the never ending book. But let's just pick what I have in here now. And if you have near you, you're gonna wanna mute because you know she'll just start answering when I say it. So that's what I'm gonna say it is right now. Alexa, pick a number from one to 28. She's not listening to me. Alexa. Pick a number from one to, it's actually 23. Pick a number between 12 and 23, 21. 12 and 23, no. Alexa, pick a number between one and 23. From Bizes.com, to get a series of multiples of 23. Are you serious? Multiply 23 by Alexa, one. stop. She's usually much better behaved than this. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. Alexa. Pick a number between 1 and 23. Pick a number between 1 and 23. It's 10. Okay, Alexa, good girl. Don't be big. Don't be a big project. Oh, I like this one. I like this one a lot because I was just telling um, my fellow crochet sisters that I have tons of yarn. It's either var variegated or striping, you know, that kind of thing. I have very few solid, you know, multiple balls of a solid yarn. And I have tons of 24-7 cotton in like a million different colors, like one skein of each color. So I'm thinking this might work. That or, yeah, I'm thinking this might work for it. Okay, you're like, Dina, shut up and let's see what it is. I'll put a picture of it here if I can. But if not, I'm also going to do this. Look at that. It's a scrap bag. I love that. So I want it to be really stiff, almost like a basket. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I'm so excited about this one, really excited. And that brings me to something else I wanted to show you guys. Okay, let me just tell you about it first. It's by The Burgundy Basket. And of course, everything will be linked in my description box. The Scrappy Oval Bag Basket. It's a very thick pattern. And it looks like Let's see, I want to just, uh, so she used just a bunch, she's calling them ugly yarns. That's kind of fun. Um, so she used acrylics and stuff like that. I'm definitely going to go through because I have so many one skeins of things or balls or cakes. So I don't know what I'm going to do. This is going to be a lot of fun figuring it out. And then she did some solids. And she held how many together? Let's see. She started with three strands. She started with two strands of a variegated, one of a solid. And then she said the hook size is, you know, largely determined by what kind of yarn you use and how thick it's going to be. Um, so you need to select a hook size that gives you a tight, stiff fabric without all of your yarn slipping off of your hook as you go. So I, I would imagine it's trial and error. So it'll be one of those, like you just keep going, try, and then you have to change it. So this will be fun. So if you guys have some ugly yarn or, I know people say it's scraps, but if you just have like, not even just scraps, but if you have like one balls going around, I love when I say that, one balls, you know what I mean? Skeins, cakes, whatever. Um, then it's a good way to say, because a lot of times you're like, what am I gonna do with this one? Even two, if they're not a lot of yards, just throw it in something like this. And that's what I'm gonna do. Because I gotta get packing. I'm procrastinating that too. And the more yarn I use, the less I have to pack. So that's good. 
So this will be linked down below. I am extremely excited about this one, if you guys can't tell. All right. Let's put this in here. And normally, I would be done with my another pattern for my big purple binder, and I would put it in my big pink binder, because this is every pattern I've completed in 2023 so far. And I gotta tell you, I didn't realize that's a lot of patterns. We're halfway through the year. So that's what I usually do. I take it from here or when I do the bag o' day pattern of the week. And when I'm done with the pattern, I put it in here. Actually, no matter where it's from, when I'm completed with it, I put it in here. And I put notes on it. Like I made this, which I loved. It was like a cape. And I put loved it, made holding two strands of cookie yarns. Um, and then arms are a little short, could have added rows. If, honestly, I didn't make this that long ago, but I forgot about that. So these notes really help. And now I remember it because this is the cookie yarn that I use, which by the way, in love with this yarn, in love with this yarn, guys, cookie. Super soft acrylic yarn. Really nice, beautiful, pretty, 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 pretty. Um, so that's what I do. That's how I organize myself. So that's it for this video. Check out my link down below again for Velo Star if you're interested in trying one of their sewing kits and check out my link down below. I will have the Alchemy sweater linked and I will have the new Scrappy Oval Bag Basket linked. And if you guys could take the time and write a comment and let me know what you think. Just, you know, go ahead, get the two skeins because I do think I'll need two. Um, two skeins of respun or one skein of respun and use one of the blush. Okay, I'm curious. Let me know what you guys think about that. And someday I will finish that sweater. And I just realized when I said this could segue, I want to show you something else. Look at these really cool things I got. Do you see that? See that? I'm sure everyone knows about these things and have used them, but um, you know. Etsy. Etsy is my favorite place in the world. Um, obviously, this is to make a bag. You just crochet and you could actually start a bag and work down, I would imagine. I haven't tried this yet. Uh, I also imagine like if you counted and you knew how many of these were, you could work a bag bottom up by decreasing and ending up with this count and then adding it on. Um, but, you know, you want to definitely um, design the bag as such as that you have a lip you know, like some more crochet going above this. So it's not just this top of the bag, if you kind of know what I mean. Don't know how I would do that yet, but I think this is cool. This one is very, very uh, bendy. It's really nice faux leather. Love this color. And then this one is more stiff. I mean, it's still not stiff, but it's definitely, uh, I picture this with a heavier, stiffer type of yarn. You hear that? Did you guys hear that meow? Love that sound. Um, so isn't that cool? Um, tons of them, tons of them on Etsy. T like the the selection is overwhelming. So I want to try this. Um, but that bag made me think of it. And then also I want to try lining a bag because I saw, where did I see it? I read it in a magazine. What magazine? What magazine? Love Crochet? I don't remember. I apologize. That's my job to remember these things and I don't. And it was... Um, it was an article about lining crochet bags. And A, you can use a sewing machine, which I don't know how to use a sewing machine and I've tried, but if you do, that'd be the best, super easy. Of course, you could just line it by sewing it by hand and this sewing kit would be great for that because they do just use thread, not yarn. Um, so that's another way. And the I saw a way where this way was the, the one I'm talking about and I can't remember, but it was so interesting. The whole thing is crocheted. You even crochet the liner into the back. And you do that by using, you could use a skip blade, which is those round blades, you know, the cutting blades, but it has like little, you know, like points. So then it makes holes every, you know, evenly across. So you can do that across the top of your liner, whatever fabric, after you sew the fabric all together this way. Oh, wait. No, you do it all around, not the top of it. You do, okay, give, give me a minute. Sorry, I'm confusing you guys. <laughs> okay, you have the fabric, okay? I'm gonna pretend this post-it note is fabric. We're gonna pretend. You have the fabric, you fold it like this. 
and then you take the top and you fold it over a little bit and over here and you take this skip blade and you do it all here 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 and here so then you could crochet it together like that and then you crochet it in these holes to the back so you're single crocheting it to the back like kind of like when you join a seam and it kind of gives a really cool look. You can't do this with all the bags because the look it gives it is a very country, rustic kind of look because when you look inside the bag, you see your beautiful fabric, but you see the row of single crochet. Like, you know how it goes into a V, the, the stitch is going down. And you use a the same color or a coordinating color that matches the bag itself. And it's a really interesting way of doing it. I used to have a skip blade. I don't know where it is, um, but I thought that was interesting. So. You know, with the other one million and one things I want to do, I want to try and make a bag with a liner using all three methods to see which one works best for me. Of course, I think just gluing it inside would work best for me <laughs> because I hate fiddling with stuff, but that wouldn't be the nicest way to do it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of all over the place, but I am looking forward to starting on this bag. I am finishing my bag o' day pattern of the week. I don't know, 19, 20, I don't remember. It's another baby blanket, but it has a really big ruffle. Um, so I'm finishing that up and um, I have some more yarn. I would like to show, ooh, little earthquake on my table that I wanna show you. So just look out for those videos. All right, everybody. I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.